recorded in the Salem Witch Trials in 1692, where both men and women were accused of witchcraft, tried in court, and even executed. At the time, rye was a staple in the diets of Salem residents. In warm, humid weather, the previous year would have made a prime breeding ground for ergot fungus. Ergot poisoning probably can't account for all the hysteria surrounding the witch trials, but it all could have started with some fungus in their food. Pop culture is full of zombies, but it's a relief to know that the apocalypse is not upon us. Yet, the same cannot be said for Campona tinny ants, who face a unique threat to their colonies, zombie ants. A particular type of fungus called Ophiocordyceps unilateralis can take control of the ants it infects. The infected ants show extremely specific behavior. They travel down to a lower level of the forest where the air is just humid and cool enough and find a leaf on the north side of a plant about 25 centimeters above the ground. Then they clamp down on the underside of the leaf and die. After a few days in these ideal conditions, thin stalks of fungus sprout from the ant's head so that spores can be released in the hope of infecting more ants and continuing the cycle. Scientists aren't sure yet how this fungus can so carefully control the ant's behavior, but this isn't the